Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the bag trends that you need to know about for the upcoming year. This is only focusing in on bags, so no other accessories or clothing pieces. It is handbags only. A couple of these trends are carrying on from last year, but there are also quite a few new ones, which I'm really, really excited about. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video does continue on my collaboration with mytreza.com, who are my go-to for all things luxury, especially when it comes to handbags. Their new season bag edit is absolutely amazing and everything that I'm featuring here today is available from my Teresa. So I will include direct links to every item I include in the description section if you did want to check anything out. So the first bag trend for 2020 are circle shaped bags and I'm a huge fan of this one. I think it's such a fresh silhouette, especially when it comes to crossbody bags. You know, crossbody bags are incredibly popular. They have been for quite a while now and it doesn't look like they're going anywhere anytime soon but there are limits to what you can do with that kind of shape. So I love this update. I think it's so fun. It is one that I myself have indulged in. So I did get a new bag. Of course it is Saint Laurent. My Saint Laurent obsession continues, but I thought this was so beautiful. I love the shape. I think it's just so different. And again, just a fun update to the crossbody, which is usually kind of square or rectangle. I thought this was adorable. Dan is also a fan of it. I was showing him pictures of different bags and he pointed this one out. He's like, that's a really cool looking bag. And I do agree. I think it looks so great. It does have a chain and then it also has that leather bit for added comfort. And then it just opens up like so. And it's not the biggest bag in the world, but it does fit in a phone and all your essentials. You do have some pockets here as well. I love that, it does come in the pebbled leather. I think this also comes in black as well, but I love the white, especially with the beautiful gold hardware. How gorgeous is that? Gucci have also released a version which is very similar to this. Really the only change is the Gigi and obviously the brand. And then Givenchy is another brand who have released their own version of a circle bag as well. I am all about this trend. I think we're only gonna see more of these. I think it's such a fun update, especially when it comes to more kind of spring summer clothing. I think this would look adorable paired with a skirt or a dress, just really light and breezy outfits with this adorable little circle bag. The next bag trend for 2020 are raffia weave bags. I love this trend. I think it's so, so beautiful and it's definitely more one for spring, summer. It does have that kind of warm weather look and it's very similar to the trend which we saw last year, which was basket bags, but it is slightly different in that Basket and wicker bags were really that very specific style and shape, that kind of basket silhouette, which whilst very cute, wasn't always that practical as I found out. Um, but the raffia weave trend extends to many different styles and shapes. So Saint Laurent is a great example of this because they've really embraced this kind of fabric combination, but they've also released a ton of different styles. So they've released a camera bag in the kind of raffia weave. They also have a shoulder bag. They have a tote bag. Just so many different varieties in that still kind of spring, summer raffia weave look. I love this, I think it's so great. Saint Laurent aren't the only ones doing this though, so Prada have also re-released my bucket bag in their kind of weave, but with a brown trim this year, which is so, so beautiful. And other newer designers like Mark Cross are also doing their versions of raffia weave as well. I only anticipate as we get closer to kind of spring, summer, we're gonna see more of this kind of bag. I think it's so beautiful, especially if you live in a warmer climate. You get limited usage out of this sort of bag in London because we only get a couple of months of summer if we're lucky. If you do live somewhere with warmer weather, I think this is a great trend to indulge in. Next up are metallics, and this is another trend which I'm a huge, huge fan of. I'm excited about a lot of the trends this year, but I think metallics are fantastic because even though they do have that kind of statement making aspect about them, they're still very, very versatile and they can act as a really good neutral in your wardrobe, especially if you did want something that was versatile, but wanted something that made a bit more of an impact than like a nude or a black or something like that. And the best thing about the metallics that we're seeing this year is that they seem to be a common 
combination of both gold and silver so it doesn't really matter which way you lean in terms of your hardware or jewelry choices whether you prefer gold jewelry or silver or white gold jewelry I think these metallics will work with absolutely anything and for everyone so two of my favorites are from Valentino and these are just that great metallic shade which will go with everything so kind of in between gold and silver they have their beautiful wristlet with the rockstar design and they also have one of their newest styles with their new V logo in a crossbody style as well. Both super gorgeous and with that shade I think it'll go with absolutely anything. Saint Laurent are another brand who are also doing the metallic trend though and they release one of their camera bags in a slightly darker metallic shade. It's almost leaning towards gunmetal so perfect if your style is a little bit more edgy. I think this is beautiful though and as I said metallics are a really good way to incorporate a neutral which has a little bit more of an impact as well. Next up is a trend that feels both very classic but also very fresh for 2020 and it's a very specific material and colour combination so it is a light canvas mixed with a leather trim and the leather trim is usually a tan colour. I don't know what it is about this specific style but so many brands are doing variations of this bag and so many of them are absolutely beautiful. Again another one that's probably a bit more suited to warmer weather just because I'm not sure that the canvas will do that well in rain or extreme weather but this is definitely a beautiful one for the spring summer months. Saint Laurent have done their uptown tote in this exact combo so a light canvas with the beautiful tan leather trim and the best thing about the uptown tote is that you do get the uptown clutch in the front of the bag. It is a great one to use as a work bag and then if you did go out for dinner or drinks later on you can just use the clutch as your evening bag. So so great but Saint Laurent are not the only ones doing this trend so hunting season are a bag brand which is a little bit newer and they've done this style in a beautiful crossbody and Dolce & Gabbana have re-released their Sicily tote in this exact combo as well. A lot of different options. By far my favourite one though is the tote from Valentino. I think this is called their Safari tote and it is so so beautiful. This is one that's on my wish list. I think it's so stunning. I love the fact that it is so large so it is a proper oversized tote. It is a shoulder bag as well so hopefully fairly comfortable and you do have that beautiful pale canvas with the tan leather trim and you also have their new V logo as well. I think this is so cute. I can see this working so well, so many different summer outfits. Definitely one that I've been eyeing up. I've been visiting it a lot online. Just such a beautiful one, but overall I think this is a really, really lovely trend which still feels very classic as well. Next up is a trend that's carrying on from 2019. It's still going strong and that is mock croc. This is a trend that I'm a huge fan of as well. It is so beautiful and so luxurious. I did buy into it last year with my Givenchy Antigona in the mock croc. If you watch a lot of my bag videos, you will know how much I adore this bag. I think it's so beautiful. It makes such a statement and just such a beautiful update on their classic Antigona style. This is in the small size and I have raved about this a lot, so I'm not going to go on too much about it, but I love mine to bits, so I am very, very happy to see Mock Croc continuing on for 2020. There are a lot of updated styles though, and what's really interesting is that I think Mock Croc is traditionally seen as more of an autumn winter style. It's definitely more associated with colder weather, but we're seeing a lot more versions for spring summer. Chloe are coming out with their mini sea bag in a beautiful light sea foam green, a really pretty shade, but they're using the Mock Croc as well. It's a really interesting contrast, really pretty, and just the perfect style for spring I think. If your style is a little bit more edgy though then Balenciaga have also released their classic city bag and they're doing black on black. Very edgy, very cool looking and with a mock croc I just think it gives it that little bit of extra edge so huge fan of pretty much all things mock croc. If you did want something a little bit more accessibly priced there is a new bag brand and I'm not sure how you say it if it's pronounced Elme or Elemy, but they're based in Paris and they do so many beautiful styles including a lot of mock croc in beautiful shades of tan and brown just really really stunning styles and these are certainly still very luxurious bags but they're not priced kind of crazy thousands and thousands of pound levels so definitely one to check out their designs are beautiful but in general i'm a huge fan of mock crocs so i'm very very excited to see so many brands doing it for 2020. 
Next up are rounded bag styles, and this is specifically shoulder bags, so a lot of kind of hobos and that kind of bag, but also some fresher designs as well. There are two brands in particular who are doing this trend very, very well. So the first one is Boy, which is a newer brand as well, but I just seem to see more of them every single year, particularly around fashion week with fashion editors. This definitely seems to be a kind of insider favorite, and the designs are absolutely beautiful. I haven't really had any experience with them, so if you own a bag from Boy, please let me know your thoughts down below. They are expanding from their kind of traditional shape as well. So they've released these beautiful bags which have that really nice rounded shape, really unique looking, and what I love about their bags is that they are so distinctive and unlike anything else that I've seen in the market. And it's pretty difficult to do because a lot of bags do look the same, you know, a lot to borrow from each other, whereas these are always very unique and very fresh looking. So. Boy are definitely one to look out for, and Bottega Veneta are another brand who are doing the rounded style really well, particularly in their hobos, which aren't necessarily anything new. They've been doing this bag style for a while, but Bottega Veneta are obviously having a bit of a moment. They have incorporated their beautiful knot design as well, and this bag is just so, so beautiful. So another one that I'm a fan of because I like shoulder bags in general. It's my favorite style. I find it very comfortable, and these new rounded designs are just beautiful. And my very last bag trend for 2020 are brown tones, which I know doesn't sound that exciting, but brown is really having a moment. And within that kind of overall color category, there are so many beautiful shades, everything from deeper nude colors to caramel to tan to really deep chocolate brown shades. There is so much to choose from, and it's a very, very classic color. But again, it's one that feels a lot more fresh and very, very current for the coming year. This is another one that I've added to my collection, so I did get another Saint Laurent Uptown Clutch. Again, if you follow me a lot, you will know how much I love this bag. I do own it in the white already, and I think it's a fantastic style, especially at the price point. I don't think you can go wrong, you know. These do retail for about 300 pounds, which for a luxury clutch is much better value than some other options, and I fell in love with this color combination. This is pebbled leather, so hopefully it will be even more durable than my smooth leather one. You do have the beautiful gold hardware. It does actually fit a surprising amount as well. You know, obviously this is not a huge bag, but I can fit in my phone, a little bit of makeup, keys, cash, and cards, and it doesn't bulge out too much at all. I love the functionality, I love the look, and I just think this is such a great buy. So huge, huge fan of this, particularly in this beautiful shade. But if you're not a fan of Saint Laurent, there is still a lot to choose from, and obviously brown is the color that comes up every single year, but I do feel like I'm seeing so many more styles in so many more shades this year. Loewe are doing some of their bags in a beautiful contrast look, so they have a kind of lighter brown bag with a darker brown trim. Really, really pretty, and Loewe has such a distinctive look as well, so if that suits your style, there are some beautiful options from them. Valentino are also releasing some of their newer bag designs with their new V logo. So they're doing their large tote bag, which I think is just a top handle. They're doing that in a beautiful shade of brown, and they're also doing some of their crossbody styles in brown shades as well. Really, really lovely. But one of my personal favorites is the Givenchy Mystic bag, which I think is so beautiful. I saw Reese Witherspoon wear this bag recently and I thought she looked fantastic in it. And they do do this in a mini size in a beautiful caramel tan color. So lovely, there is a ton to choose from though, so if you like your warm brown shades, you are definitely in luck this year. I think we're gonna see a lot more of this trend. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the trends I mentioned down below in the comment section. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you think I missed anything out? Let me know your thoughts down below. As promised, I will leave links to everything I featured in the description section. But if you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.